you're going to make Bettendorf, Iowa your home, there are a few things that you need to know. For example, where do you get your groceries? Where are the medical facilities? What is there to do for entertainment? We're going to cover that and so much more coming up. Hey there, Alex Skeen here, and if this is the first time on the channel and you want to know what it's like to work, eat, sleep, and play in the Quad Cities, you're going to really want to hit that subscribe button down below and click that notification bell to get notified every single time we upload a new video. And honestly, we get so many calls, texts, emails from folks like you who are either moving or relocating to the area, and we absolutely love it. So if that's you, give us a call, send us a text, heck. Send the Pony Express if you want to, we're here for you. So if you decided to make Bettendorf your home, but you really don't know where things are. Well, luckily for you, I am going to take you into the map today and show you exactly where the groceries are, where the medical facilities are, where you can get entertainment, where the banks are, what are the school districts. I'm going to show you all of that and show you exactly where it is. And we're going to start right now. So as you can see on the screen here, we're looking at the Quad Cities, and more specifically, we're looking at Bettendorf. Now, just to get your bearings, Bettendorf is outlined by this dotted line right through here. You can see that it goes down to the river and it takes this big chunk out of it. Now, this big chunk is actually called Riverdale. It is its own separate town, but it's still actually gonna be a part of the community, even though it's not technically Bettendorf. And if we keep going around, you go through the river, up past Pleasant Valley, up north, and you connect the dots. In general, when you think about the borders of Bettendorf, you basically think I-74 all the way to Pleasant Valley, I-80 down to the river. But you can see that border is a little bit different when you're actually looking at it, including this little area. This is Panora Park, and it is tiny little community inside of Bettendorf that isn't actually Bettendorf addresses. So kind of cool history on that, but that's not what we're covering today. First thing that I want to cover is where are you going to get your groceries when you move to Bettendorf? Now, there's just a few different facilities or different areas that you can do this. The first being actually in Davenport, and it's over here at this complex area, complex of areas where they have a Hy-Vee grocery store. Now, if you're not familiar with Hy-Vee, it is a semi-local chain here in Iowa. Uh, great facility to get a lot of vegetables, a lot of, you know, just your general grocery stuff. They even have some restaurants in there, but it is just a really good spot to go to if you're looking for that general grocery store experience. I will say that I bet or high V tends to be a little bit more expensive in general, but not all the time. Sometimes they have some really great deals there, and that is located on Utica Ridge and 53rd Street. But obviously, that's not the only place that you can get groceries here in Bettendorf. If we go ahead and scroll on over, we're going to go over to Devil's Glen. Now, this is a brand new facility. And there's actually a couple different grocery stores right around it. What I'm talking about is actually Aldi. We'll see if it's even on the street view or not. It is not. So this right here was a field and now it's Aldi. I'll put up some B-roll of what it looks like now. But this is a great store to go to, especially if you're trying to save some money. Generally, Aldi is going to be a cheaper option. But if we just go down here. oh. There it is on satellite view. So you can see it was that field. Now it's an Aldi. But if you keep going on down here, another great option is our local fairway. It is located right here. Great place to go, especially if you're thinking that you want to get some meat. That is what it's really known for. Um, feels like a small town grocery store when you walk in. And it really is when you're thinking about going there. So those two are great places to get some groceries. And then another option is the Hy-Vee on Devil's Glen. Just like the Hy-Vee over on 53rd Street, you got another one right here. That is one thing that Hy-Vee does well is it gets into the community close by to a lot of homes. 
and it's easy access. And you can see it, you got two right in the Bettendorf area. So it's definitely an option to go to if you want the groceries that we're talking about. So when you, when you move here, that is probably one of the first things that you're thinking about is the groceries. You're probably hungry from the big move. But what are the other things that you need to be thinking about? Well, one of the things that I had to use almost right away when I got here, unfortunately, was the medical facilities in Bettendorf. So what are your options for medical facilities? The first and the biggest is located right over here. And this is the actual hospital. Switch it to satellite view here. And this is Unity Point. You can see we drop on in here. It is the big, big hospital in the area of Bettendorf. Um, there are some other hospitals that are big around here. You got Genesis and Unity Point. Those are the two big hospitals here. This is the one that's located in Bettendorf. So it's definitely a go-to place if you have an ER visit or huge medical issues, this is the place to go to. But say you don't need a full hospital, maybe you just need to go to urgent care. Well, there are quite a few options and I probably won't even cover all of them. The one that I had to use when I first moved here is actually on Devil's Glen and 53rd. It's kind of an interesting story. When I first moved to the area, I was actually gonna become a intern. When I moved here, I had just a really sore throat. I was gonna stay with my uncle. He wasn't home at the time. I get to Bettendorf, I get into his home, he let me in with the key, and I just was sick as a dog. Well, come to find out I had strip throat. That night I went, stayed in his basement because tornado sirens were going off. Unbeknownst to me, Bettendorf and Scott County will put tornado sirens on even if it's just high winds, not tornadoes. So little tidbit for you. So I was in the basement hiding from tornadoes, sick as a dog, couldn't even think or breathe or hardly anything. And I was just not happy to be here. The next day, you know, my aunt told me about this facility and this is the Uni Point Clinic Express Care. I got right in, they gave me some medication and I started feeling better pretty quick after that. So I know this place very well just because of that story, but that is one option for you if you're thinking about urgent care or, you know, just have a little cold, check out that area. But if you need a point isn't where you want to be, Another facility that's built recently is located over here. Let's see if I can find it. It's a very, very new facility. That's a Genesis group. They have their offices over here. There's quite a few of them. Um, you got the physician's offices, convenient care. Uh, I think there's another one just up the street here. But regardless, that is another option for you if you're having that urgent care, maybe you got strip throat, maybe you got a cold, you really don't know. That's another um, convenient care that you can go to. And then even newer than that one is another Unity Point. Um, it's out here by the Betplex. <clears throat> and you can see it's located right here. And it is brand new, bright and shiny. Definitely a place that you can go to if Unity Point is your hospital of choice. There's another one located out here on Middle Road and Forest Grove. So you got a couple options, but maybe you're in some of the older parts of town of Bettendorf. Well, you got one more option here, and that is another express care that is located close to Burlington Coat Factory, which is Middle Road and Kimberly. You can see it is right here drop on in it is right over here so unity clinic unity point clinic express so those are just a few options for you if you're feeling down and you might need to use a facility like that there you go that's on the map that's where they're located but maybe you feel perfectly great and i hope you do and maybe you're thinking about where can i go for entertainment well, you got a couple options. If you got a family, we can zoom on in here and see that we do have the family museum 
You can see from these pictures, it's just a really cool place to go. Great place for kids to interact. They just got all sorts of different things going on here. You can see the kids right here. So family entertainment, family museums, a great option for you. But maybe you want something a little more interactive, you know, a little more intense or maybe a little more athletic. Another great option for you is going out to the Betplex, which is another new facility. Um, they host a ton of different sporting events. You can see soccer fields, baseball fields, all sorts of different things. If your kids are in sports, most likely you're going to find this on your own, but it is a huge facility and not only for sports, you can go ahead and drop on in here and take a look. They do have a bowling alley. I don't know where they put me. You know, high, <clears throat> high games. So the bowling alley, you have the arcade that's in there. It's just a really family friendly area to go. Even if you're not one to, you know, do sports. Again, they have the bowling alley, they have laser tag, they have escape rooms, they have just all sorts of different things for entertainment for the kiddos and for yourself. But maybe you want to get the family pet involved in some of your entertainment activities. Well, luckily for you, Bettendorf has a great facility or area for that, and that's the Crow Creek Dog Park. We'll hop on in, and it's located on 53rd and Devil's Glen. It's a huge area, it's a big park for everything baseball you know they have soccer field over here I know they run cross country but like I said if you want the dog to be a part of it go ahead and go to the Crow Creek Dog Park it is one of the best dog parks I've ever been to you can see it's well manicured they really maintain the lawn that is here um, you'll see there's actually three different dog parks you over here you have what they call the spot or the small dog park area. So just little dogs can go in there. They have two large dog dog parks. One is here and it's separated by a fence over here. And the reason they do that is so they can maintain the lawns. So when one lawn is getting a little bit rutted up, getting torn up a little bit, they'll close that one and shift all the traffic over to the other one so they can maintain that one, let the grass grow out. And then vice versa, when the other one gets a little bit rough, they switch it over and that's how they can maintain such a nice and beautiful dog park. So that is a great area for getting out with the kids, taking the dogs and just being outside and really entertaining yourselves there. But maybe your entertainment is more along, you know, getting drinks. Well, a few options for you. One of my favorite is actually Crawford Brew Works. It's on Tanglefoot and Devil's Glen. It's located right here, as you can see, and they just have a great facility to go to. Not only that, talked about the dog park. If it's nice outside, you can actually bring your dog to this brewery as well. They have an outdoor area that dogs, it's dog friendly, as long as you don't take them inside. And they'll have live entertainment, as you can see every now and then. So great place to go to. Another great brewery that you can go to that's in Bettendorf is located up here, close to Central Standard Burger. It is called Five Cities Brewing. You can see it's located right off of 53rd and 18th. Another great brewery to go to. They host a bunch of different events. Uh, I've been to charity events there. I've been to you know, trivia events there. So great place for all those sorts of things and just a great place to go to entertain yourself. So if you're done entertaining, but maybe you want to go get something to eat, there's a few areas that you can consider to go get something to eat. The first one is right next to Five Cities. There's a bunch of different restaurants on this side. And there's a bunch of different restaurants on this side. One of my favorites is actually Your Pie. The best way I can describe Your Pie is kind of like Subway, except for pizza. You get to build your own pizza, they bake it right in front of you, and it's just really good place, in my opinion, to go to for that quick, you know, lunch, get it done, get it over with. But if maybe sitting down and wanting to, you know, spend some time 
actually dining in area, a great option for you is over here. And that's the Tangled Wood. The Tangled Wood is really, really awesome to go to. They have a great outdoor facility. The food is delicious. They always are very hospitable when you come. They take care of you. So it's just a great option if you want to go eat. But that's really about the only thing located in that area. But if you want to have a few more options in a general area, you can come over to this facility. <coughs> you can come over to this area where you have a few different options. You got the Culver's, this is called Cumberland Square. You got Los Amigos, Happy Joe's, which is a pizza place, Wendy's, um, Baja Tacos. And I know a Hungry Hobo is located in this facility as well which is a sandwich shop so really a lot of options there and then you also got downtown so you got in downtown you have stacks pancake house for those breakfasts you have yoso which is a japanese restaurant if that's what you like you got riverside grill just a bunch of different options if you go downtown just really great you know really great restaurants down there really great people so it's just a good spot to go to if you want to go and get some food. All right, so let's talk schools. Now, I showed you the map of Bettendorf. It's right here. Now, the schools in Bettendorf are a little bit different. And I'm going to show you the actual school district lines to try to explain this to you. So if we look here, this is the Bettendorf school district line. You may notice it looks a little bit different than the lines of the actual city. And that's because it is different. Part of Bettendorf is actually Pleasant Valley School Districts and part of Bettendorf is actually Bettendorf. And not only that, but part of Davenport is actually Bettendorf School. So something to really think about when you move here, if you want a certain school, Make sure you're buying a home or renting a home in the school district that you want, because it's not just that you're in Bettendorf that you're going to get into Bettendorf schools. There's a possibility that you won't. So just keep that in mind. But this is the Bettendorf school district. As of right now, things can change. And this is the Pleasant Valley school district. You can see is right along through Bettendorf here and up north into LeClaire. But where are the actual schools? So if you're thinking Bettendorf, Bettendorf has a bunch of different elementaries. They have one middle school and they have one high school. The middle school is located on 18th Street. If I can find it, switch here. And it's located right here. They have, it's right around a lot of those restaurants that we were talking about earlier and it's got a lot of parking it's got some fields out here it just right along the 18th and pretty easy to find and just north of there is actually the high school so not too far away is the Bettendorf High School they got the big facility with the baseball diamond the football field they got tennis courts here so it's just located basically smack dab in the center of Bettendorf and includes you know part of Davenport for the school district and a good majority of Bettendorf, but not all of Bettendorf. Now, what if you get into the Pleasant Valley schools? Well, Pleasant Valley is a little bit more complicated on where things are. It does have a junior high and it does have a high school, but where are they located? Well, the high school is actually located in Bettendorf. If we scroll on in here, you'll see I take that back. It's actually located technically in Riverdale, Pleasant Valley Schools, Riverdale, but it contains Bettendorf. I know it gets kind of confusing, but right here is actually the Pleasant Valley High School. Now the Pleasant Valley High School is located a quite a ways away from the Pleasant Valley Middle School. The middle school is located out in this direction, which is located right here. It is closer to LeClaire than the high school is located to it. 
So just keep that in mind. If you're thinking Pleasant Valley is a school you want to go to, the two schools are pretty far apart and there's a good chance that you're gonna have to drive quite a ways to get to one or the other. All right, so that covers the schools, but say you want to do some home improvement. Where can you get home improvement supplies? Well, there's really two locations that are within Bettendorf lines. First is a great standby. It's been around for a long time, and that is k, &K Hardware. They have just about everything that you can need, plus some. They've been around, like I said, a very, very long time, and they've got a very loyal uh, customer base. If you grew up here, you definitely know what K&K &K is. If not, check it out. It's a great place to go to, but maybe that's not where you want to go. What are your other options? Well, it's really located over here, and this is one of the big box stores. This is Home Depot. It is located within Bettendorf, so I'll include it in this map, but you can see it's a Home Depot, just like basically any other Home Depot that you'll come by, but it is located within Bettendorf city lines, although barely it is there. So those are your options when you're thinking about doing home improvement. Check out those two locations. Now, if you're going to be buying food, if you're going to be buying um, home improvement, you're probably going to need to know where your bank options are. Bank options are pretty widespread and it all depends on what you want to do for your bank. You know, up here, if we look, there's some bank options. You got the American Bank and Trust. You have the Quad Cities Bank and Trust. You got even Wells Fargo. So you got a lot of options along this area, but maybe you want to go a little bit more local. Well, your options for a little more local is in downtown. And this is actually a credit union and a center credit union. They just built this huge facility down there. This is their headquarters, and it is a great option if you want to stay local. They are a credit union that is just local, but they're not the only ones in town. If you want another option and it's still a credit union, you can come up here and take a look at, where is it at? IH Mississippi Valley Credit Union. They're a great, credit union to go and use as well. And right across the street is a US bank branch. So definitely a lot of options as far as it comes to banking. And I didn't even cover all of them. Now, as much as I like making these videos, I also love helping out families moving to the area. So if you wanna contact me, my number's down below. But if you really wanna know more about Bettendorf, well, check out this video right here as I cover the details of Bettendorf that I may not have covered in this video.